Hello, welcome to Lil's Vintage World. This video is going to be a charity shop haul. I have got books, I've got DVDs, I've got jigsaw puzzles, and I've got some Beatrix Potter too. And I should also mention the necklace that I'm wearing today is also from a charity shop. This cost me a whole 25p, what a bargain. It was in this um, tub that was four bits of jewellery for a pound and I was like, yes please, I will have to have it. Thank you very much. Um, I just really like her. I think she's fun. So anyway, charity shops, I do love a charity shop. I definitely nowadays, now I'm a bit older, um, try to come away from things like fast fashion and buying new. I think we have so much stuff already. Um, why do we need to keep adding to the environment issues that we already have? Um, so I'm happy to buy second hand. I will start with a couple of the Beatrix Potter book bits that I've got, because um, I've only got a couple. I don't usually find Beatrix Potter bits in charge shop, but I have looked out recently. So for four ninety nine, I picked up this Wedgwood uh, little mug, and it is Mrs Tiggy Winkle. And here it is, and it's so sweet. So it has some of the um, lines from the book, of course, by Beatrix Potter, and then some of the beautiful images as well. And I just really, really like that. And I'm going to sit that on my shelf it can go there just for now and then my Beatrix part of bargain was this this was 50p um now I love the tale of two bad mice it's one of my favorite books as a child so very very happy to have this hunker munker and of course her little babies there I just love it and 50p what a bargain it was in one of the charge shops that's like the end of the line charge shop so it's um one of the hospices and then it's like the clearance shop and I'm so surprised that no one picked this up. It was originally up for £4 which I still think is actually pretty good um, but yeah 50p, an absolute bargain. Then I'll talk about a couple of DVDs because I've only got two. First of which is an Agatha Christie. This is Murder at the Gallop. This is one of the Margaret Rutherford's ones. I have watched the Margaret Rutherford ones. They're not my favourite but they are quite funny but not quite Agatha Christie, but for £2 I thought I'd uh, pick up the DVD and have it in my collection. This, I believe, is based on After the Funeral. Now, After the Funeral is actually a Poirot mystery, but of course they've changed it to Miss Marple. And then also for £2, well, £1.99, I got this box set. This is Martina Cole's The Lady Killers. This was on the TV years ago, and I really, really enjoyed the series. Then they did this box set in the works. Well, the works was one place that was selling it, and I went to go and get it, and they ran out, and I was so annoyed. But this contains four DVDs. So we have Myra Henley, Rose West, Beverly Allett, and Amelia Dyer. All fascinating to learn about. Then moving on to the books, firstly for 30p I picked up this. This is a copy of The Secret Garden which is one of my favourite books that I had as a child. I've got two copies here. Um, this is obviously an abridged version but I just, if I see a copy of a book that I love I can't help it. I just, I do have to pick it up and 30p. 30p. Yes, please. Get in my collection. For £1.50, I found this graphic novel called Corpse Talk Season 1. It essentially is like an interviewer that is going around and interviewing dead people. <laughs> so we have Mary Shelley here and we have Julius Caesar here. So he'll go around and interview them and briefly talk about their life. We have... Uh, Marie Antoinette, Dick Turpin, etc, etc. You get the idea. That was 150. Also 150, I saw this lovely book and I couldn't pass it up. This is The Language of Flowers and inside it's this beautiful hardcover book about the history of flowers, what they mean, what they mean in terms of poetry and literature. There is a big section which I was very pleased with on roses. If you didn't know, roses are my favourite flower. I can't find it now. Here we are. Rose. Rose. Yeah, roses are my favourite flower. In particular, I like a dark red rose. They're my favourite. Do you love a red rose? I know, cliche, but I don't care. <laughs> then for 75p, I picked up A.D. Stevenson. This is The House on the Cliff. This book itself is from the 1970s, but I believe uh, the House on the Cliff was first published in the 1960s. Yeah, 1966, so it's much later than a lot of her other stuff. But I do really like D.E. Stevenson, so 
I thought if I saw it, I'd pick it up and 75p bargain. Then I have the rest of them are all um, on offer and they were two books for a pound or mixed media, so CDs, DVDs, books, all two for a pound. So first of all, I picked up this. This is Miss Matt by E.F. Benson, which this is my third copy of. <laughs> I have a problem, um, but this also includes the male impersonator. Now, the male impersonator is one of the short stories in the Mappalochia novel. So there's six full-length novels, but then there's also a couple of short stories which are not easy to come across in the books. So I had to get it for that reason. And then because I got that one, I couldn't leave this one. This is Lucia in London, but as you can see, they're part of the same set sort of thing. So uh, Miss Map is number two in the series and Lucia is London is number three in the series. I couldn't find any more. Those are the only two that I could find. If I could have found the others, I probably would have got them all. And then the last four books are all by Jean Clady, who I have read before and I liked her before, but I've never read them in order and I feel like to get the best out of it, I really should read them in order. So I, I saw these four books, which are all the first books in the kind of Tudor series. So, and again, they were two for a pound, so why not? So first of all, we have Uneasy Lies Ahead. No, Uneasy Lies the Head. <laughs> this is uh, just after the War of the Roses. So we have um, Henry VII now, um, of course, Henry Tudor, Henry VII, and his, uh, he gets married, of course, to Elizabeth of York to unite them together and all that stuff. This book is from the 1980s, which is actually makes them a bit later than the others. So the next one is Catherine the Virgin Widow. So that's going to be on Catherine of Aragon after the death of Prince Arthur. So I presume we see them get married, head off to Ludlow and he dies and then she becomes a widow for quite a long time. Then we have The Shadow of the Pomegranate, which I'm guessing again is about Catherine of Aragon because it's pomegranate, which is her emblem. And it, I, I am guessing this is going to be about her struggles with um, childbearing because, of course, she does have Mary, um, but Mary is the only child that she has that lives into adulthood, sadly. And then lastly, The King's Secret Matter, which is going to be on him wanting to end his marriage to Catherine of Aragon, of course, Mary Anne Boleyn. So I believe these three are from the 1960s, early 1960s, but this one is later from the 80s. So she must have slipped the earlier one in. So there we are, that is all my books. Right, Jigsaw Puzzles Ahoy. If you don't like Jigsaw Puzzles, fair enough, but I do, I think I think they're great to you know keep your mind active. So first of all, I saw this one, a charity shop. This is an Agatha Christie, The Body in the Library, 750 pieces. I have an Agatha Christie, which is a thousand piece puzzle, and that was too hard. <laughs> um, yeah, I never managed to finish that. I gave up, it was just too difficult. So I thought I'd give this one a go. Even if it's too hard, it can just sit there and be happy. It was two pound 50, so. I thought £2.50, let's see if I can complete it. Why not? For a pound, I think I got this Wallace and Gromit puzzle. This is um, from A Close Shave. And I love Wallace and Gromit. This is, how many pieces are you? 500, so fingers crossed I can do that one as well. Then for £2, I got this puzzle. This is 200 pieces and you always think, I look at it and think, yeah, it's going to be easy, but these are never easy, these Simpsons ones, because this pattern is reoccurring, and then there's a lot of the sofa, and then, of course, he's majority yellow, so it's actually a lot harder than you'd think it would be, but it's Simpsons, and I love the Simpsons. And then lastly, three children's jigsaw puzzles. I always have a look at children's jigsaw puzzles because... I struggle with adult ones. I can't do a thousand piece puzzle. I don't know how people do thousand piece puzzles. And the adult ones always seem to be a thousand or two thousand piece puzzle. Pub puzzle? <laughs> puzzle. Give me like a 500 please, maximum. Um, a nice 300 is good for me. So I found this in a charity shop. It's still sealed, it's still got its clingy thingy on it. It's a Roald Dahl Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, two pound, 250 piece puzzle. That is the 
picture that you have to do and on the back is a few more so there's a bfg a james the giant peach and a matilda i wouldn't mind having the matilda actually because i do really like matilda i think that's such a good book and then for 195 i got this horrible science one this is the solar system i like collecting the horrible histories jigsaw puzzles so when i saw the horrible science one i thought yeah i'll get that one too that's 300 and also 300 is this horrible science one. This was a little bit more expensive. This was £2.50, so an extra yeah, 55p. Um, but this one is Beastly Body Bits, and that looks really fun. I haven't done any of these as of yet. I go through really phases with my jigsaw puzzles where I will do one a day for about a week, and then I'll have like a month without doing any. So yeah, I've stocked up for my next jigsaw puzzle binge but there we have it that is all the bits and bobs that i picked up from charity shops recently i hope you have enjoyed this haul talk to me about what you have acquired recently from charity shops have you found yourself any bargains recently and i shall see you soon for my next video take care for now bye